Welcome to this video. I want to walk through a process to link up a camera for distracting Shogun to a cine camera in Unreal Engine. I'm using Unreal Engine 4.26 and I'm simply opening the virtual production template. The only prerequisite is that you have the Vicon Live Link plugin installed to stream the data from Shogun Live to the Unreal Engine. In the Live Link window, click New Source and add a Vicon Data Stream source. I've connected my PCs together using static IP addresses, so I'm putting in the IP address here for the Shogun Live machine. And because I'm using Object Tracked Objects, they're streaming on port 804. Click Create and you can see the three objects that I've got tracking within Shogun. I always find it useful to save a preset for my Live Link settings so that I can easily connect again when I reopen the project. There are several ways you can drive a camera in Unreal Engine, but the one I'm going to show you is quite simple. First I'm going to change the animation role that the subject comes in as and change to a transform role. So in the live link details you can add a translator and in this pick list you're picking animation to transform. Then if you expand the array on the translator you can add the bone name of the prop in Shogun which is root. And again since I made some changes I'm going to save this as a preset as well. Now I want to drive the Cine Camera Actor, which is found here in the default level. Selecting Cine Camera Actor in the World Outliner, I'm going to add a component. If you look here, you've just got the Scene component and the Camera component. And if you add a component, it's called Live Link Controller. Now in the subject representation I'm going to pick the VCAM subject and in the role I'm going to pick Live Link Transform role. You can see that the camera has come in with the Vicon orientation. So what we need to do now is on the camera component we need to make a couple of rotations to get it correct for the Unreal Cine Camera pose. Select the camera component and set this to 90 in X and 90 in Y. And that should be correct for the prop in Vicon translating into the Cine camera in Unreal. Now I'm just going to do a couple of tests moving the camera, doing a tilt and then a pan and then a roll and checking each time that the actual movement of the camera matches the movement of the Cinecam within the Unreal scene. And once that's checked over, you can be pretty confident that that's going to drive your camera correctly. Thank you for watching this short walkthrough.